Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with iStyle, my style. And welcome to another episode of DIY dupes. Um, we're trying to get that Lux look for less. You guys know I love a good DIY. And today is no exception. So we are going to be working on some DIYs today. Um, I previously did a Pottery Barn inspired DIY dupes video and today's video is actually going to be something a little similar but if you missed that video i will leave that linked in the description box down below so you can go check it out as well as in the icards above so today i was inspired by four different pieces so our first inspiration piece is from pottery barn and it's this candle this pumpkin candle um I absolutely think it would be perfect for the fall season. Um, I love the amber color. So I have this amber colored vase that I picked up, oh my gosh, years ago from TJ Maxx, I believe, or Home Goods, one of those for $5. And I got it on clearance for $5 because the lid was broken. So I'm thinking, hmm, maybe we can turn this into a candle similar to the one from Pottery Barn that you see here. So that's going to be our first DIY, or I think it might be our first DIY, because I'm also inspired by this photo of a vase that I have seen on CB2. Now this vase is amber in color. You guys know I have created a series called How to Bring Warmth into Your Home for Fall. If you have missed any of those videos, I will leave a playlist link down below for you to go check those out. But I thought this vase would be perfect to bring in that warmth for fall into my home. The problem is I don't want to spend $35 on a vase, even though $35 doesn't seem like a lot of money. I don't want to spend $35. So I was thinking maybe I could take this pumpkin colored vase and create a similar look for less. Now this vase that I'm expired by from CB2 also has these like a reddish burgundy colored lily um, featured, which I thought was very pretty and perfect for fall. I don't have a floral type that color. Um, so I'm going to use something similar. I do have like a burgundy colored sunflower and I do have those, um, what are they called? Palm fronds that I picked up from Dollar Tree earlier in the year. So we're going to try to create a luxe look, a luxe look for less similar to this inspiration piece here. So that's DIY number two. And then our third DIY, I am inspired by these faces that I saw Homebody with Felisa do or feature in one of her videos. They're so, so pretty. They're like a silver and black and then it has a strip of bling around the middle. You guys know I love to decorate in black and white and I will have glam items as my accent color. So I've seen these vases in Home Goods, and I've never picked them up because I thought they would be a perfect DIY. So our inspiration photo for our third DIY is this one. Again, these are the vases that I saw on Homebody with Ferlisa's channel, and I think they would be perfect to dupe. So that's our third DIY. And then our fourth DIY is something that I've seen similar well, it's an overly sized bowl. You know, restoration hardware, 
likes to decorate or accent their pieces with oversized accessories and decor pieces. So I was inspired when I saw these photos of the oversized bowls on the coffee table, on the dining table. And when I was out thrifting, I ran across this really large bowl that I thought would be perfect to try to create a looks look for less to get our fourth DIY. So if you love a good DIY and you love saving money and decorating with style on a budget and you wanna see how our DIY projects are gonna turn out, well, make sure you keep watching. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the I Style My Style family. I would love to have you. And for all my returning friends and family members, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy today's video and leave me a comment down below and let me know which DIY you like best. Now, let's get to DIYing. Hey friends, so today I'm gonna do a little DIY. You know, I got love a good DIY. So my inspiration today is from Homebody with Forlisa. And she put up a video, oh, a few days ago showing some vases. And I will put up a photo here of what they look like. And I absolutely fell in love with them. I've seen them in Home Goods. And I always pass them by because I felt like I could recreate them for less. So that is what we're going to do today. So for Lisa, thank you so much for the inspiration. So I have these vases. I don't remember where I got this one. I'm sure it was from the Goodwill and I'm sure it was less than $5 because I don't pick up any vases from the Goodwill that are more than that. So we're gonna use this one. I need to clean it up. And then this one I picked up from Ross a few years ago. And as you can see, it was on clearance for $2.49. So we're gonna use these two vases and we're gonna do a DIY on those. And then this I picked up on clearance for $5 at Looks like it was probably Home Goods or TJ Maxx, someplace like that. And the reason it was on clearance is because it does not have a lid. So I figured what better way to use this. Like I got this a few years ago and I've been using it as a vase, but I thought, hmm, maybe I should turn it into a candle. What do you think? Should I leave it as a vase or turn it into a candle? I think this would make a really pretty candle. I just love the amber color of this glass. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So if you wanna see how these DIY projects turn out, just make sure you keep watching. Oh, almost forgot. So I also have this bowl that I recently picked up from the Goodwill, as you can see, or maybe you cannot see. If it will focus, it was $2.99. It's very dirty, but I like this piece because of the size. And you know when you're going for the Lux look for less, you want to use things that are oversized. So I saw this piece and it just looks similar to something that I have seen in the Restoration Hardware catalogs where they have these oversized bowls on the table. And I thought this would be perfect and it was only $2.99. So we're gonna do a little DIY on that as well. So if you wanna see how they turn out, make sure you keep watching because as you remember, this face was also a DIY. And look how beautiful it turned out. So yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed that these two these three, four projects turn out just as nice. All right, so our two pieces are now all washed and dried. And now it's time for a little spray paint. Our inspiration piece, um, I think it's like silver and black. I don't think I have any silver spray paint. So, 
might have to check. This, I was debating, do I keep it black or do I paint it with my handy dandy gold spray paint? So, decisions, decisions. I think our inspiration piece from Restoration Hardware was like a bronzy type color. Um, but I think I might just leave this one black and we'll just paint these two pieces here. Okay, so we've given our vases a good light coat of silver spray paint. So we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and tape it off and do the bottom part black. So the first part of our DIY is done. We've spray painted the top portion of each face in a silver spray paint. So now I need to tape off the bottom and spray paint that area black. There's some imperfections here, but that won't matter because the vase will be taped off here and then this other part will all be black so you won't see that. So let's start taping it off. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cover the part that we don't want to get black spray paint on. So basically the area where we just spray painted it silver in color. I'm gonna cover this up and tape it down. So we don't get black spray paint on the silver section. And it doesn't have to be precise because we're gonna be coming back later and covering up that portion to again mimic our inspiration piece and I will put up that photo again here so you can see the look we are trying to achieve again we're going for the look look for less Now we're all about the Lux look for less. So I want it to be about halfway. Like so. And maybe a little bit more. measuring just eyeball all right so now we gotta go spray paint our bottoms black alright so while we are waiting for our bases to dry we're gonna move on to our second DIY. So I love the look of this little pumpkin container. Don't mind my hand, it's just spray paint. But I'm debating, should I turn it into a candle and it would be a high-end looking dupe or DIY for one of the Pottery Barn pumpkin candle holders. The only thing is, Ours would not have a lid, 
because again, I bought this on sale. It was on clearance for $5 because the lid was missing. But I still think it would break, make a great candle. What I have done in the past is use it as a base. And so I'm on the fence because I also am thinking about using it to create a similar look to this one here from CB2. And I thought about ordering that vase. I think it's like $35, but I'm thinking why when I have this one, which is just as pretty and it's in the shape of a pumpkin. So I would like to try to mimic something similar to this flower design. So I went down into the basement and our inspiration piece has these like a maroon colored floral, which I do not have. I think those look like lilies, but I have these flowers from the Dollar Tree. Um, like they look like daisies. I don't know what these are called, uh, but I thought these were pretty. And then I have this really big lavender, not lavender, maroon colored sunflower from Joanne that I bought on clearance last year. So I have that. And then I have these leaves that we picked up from the Dollar Tree earlier in the year. So I'm gonna try to create a similar look for less. Again, you guys know I always love the look for less. So let's see what we can do. All right, so if I were to keep this and to use it as a base, First, I'm gonna take the stems or the tags off of these stems. But you don't wanna leave the tag on. That looks kinda of tacky. If this would come off. Well, it'll be down in the base. So you really won't be able to see it that well. So we're gonna just set this in the base like this. And then we're gonna take our florals from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna bend this. And this we're gonna have them kind of spread out. Kind of similar, leaning over to the side, kind of like our inspiration piece, although it's not the same type of flower. But we're trying to go again for that look, Lux. We're trying to go again for the Lux look for less. So then we can stick in this little guy, I'm gonna bend it again. I'm gonna stick it down in here. But I want you to be able to see this, like it's kind of sticking out of the base. And then also, Add this one, you can see. Maybe on this side. So I want the two leaves opposite of each other. And then our floral. To be in the middle. Again, our inspiration piece has lilies. 
which we don't have, but we're trying to get a similar look for less. I don't know that I like these. If it would look better, more high-end looking with just the sunflower. all we have. I don't have any lilies this color. But it's giving that high-end look. Just simple and simplistic. Try to create something without spending money. go put it in the space and we'll see how it looks. This is how our little flower project has turned out. And even though we didn't have the same type of florals or vase, I do believe it is giving us a similar look and feel to our CB2 inspired vase. And I will insert the photo here. Again, different but similar and I still think it gives us the luxe look for less that I was going for. So I don't think I'm gonna turn this into a candle. I do have a clear pumpkin jar that I could turn into a candle and it does have a lid. So we may do that. I'm gonna keep the vase as it is because I do like the amber color. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this DIY. All right, so since we decided to use our amber colored pumpkin vase as an actual vase, I went downstairs and got this clear pumpkin dish. This I also thrifted from the Goodwill. Oh gosh, two or three years ago, I wanna say now. So. We're just gonna take this and turn it into our Pottery Barn inspired candle. So I went again downstairs and just picked up some old candles that I have laying around that I, I am just gonna melt down and very simple DIY. We're gonna make our own candle. So you've seen me do this many times before. So, well, not many times once before, but let's get started. First, we're gonna put on some water, bring it to a boil, and then turn it down and let our, our candle wax melt, and then we're just gonna pour it into our container. All right, so we got our water on. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then we'll set our candles in here and let them melt. All right, so our water is simmering and we're going to turn it down and we're just gonna drop our candle down in here and let it melt. And once it's all melted, we'll come back and pour it in our pumpkin jar. The candle is coming along nicely. Just a little more to go before it's all melted. All right, so our wax is finally all melted. Now we have to try to fish out the wick because we want to reuse it in our candle. We'll take the lid off our candle. Get a spoon. 
and fish out our wick. And it's like our little end came off. But never fear, because I think I have some wicks upstairs. So I bought these wood wicks a while ago from Amazon because I was going to do my own candles. So let's try these and see how they work. So they come with this little metal stand. I guess you stick the wick. down in there like so. I'm gonna stick a little wax. Let's try adding two wicks. This bottom is not flat. It's only that one area whoops to stick so I'm just gonna pour our wax in you can see that and then our wick moved we have to put it back in place probably have to hold it Oops. I didn't want that piece to fall in there I'm fish this out and try to keep this centered while So that didn't make very much wax, so we'll have to melt down another one. All right, guys, so this is where we are. I melted down another old jar of wax and poured it on top. And now we are just waiting for it to cool. And we have a cute little DIY do-it-yourself Lux on a budget pumpkin candle for fall. Our vase was $4.99 from Goodwill. The wood wicks I already had. The candles I already had. So we made this candle for $5. Whereas the one from Pottery Barn, I want to say it was like $59 for a candle of this size. So we scored on this one and that is how you achieve the Lux look for less. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of our candle. And when I come back, we're gonna light it up. Bases, I think, are done drying. So we're going to take off our plastic now. And this is what we have after we have spray painted. So this, I don't know if you can tell, the paint was a little heavy and it ran. I'm not happy about that, but I think we can turn that to the back and use the front side. And then here's how this one's looking. Again, heavy handed with the spray. So we'll turn that to the back. And 
yeah. This doesn't feel quite dry. So, but I think it's dry enough. So the next step is I have this bling wrap that I can use to try to put around to mimic our look. So we could use that. Or I have this bling wrap, which I think is more like our inspiration piece. And this uh, bling wrap, I believe, came from uh, BB Craft, I think. But look how pretty it is. So, so pretty. So we could take this and go around our base like so. Look how pretty that is. And it gives us the same Lux look for less as our inspiration piece. So, so pretty. So we're gonna use this one and this one's got, even though I covered it up, I think I need to go over this because as you can see I have some scrapes on it so let's do that all right so now that we've got that coat done we're gonna add a really pretty bling wrap to give us that luxe look for less and we're just gonna cover up that line like so so, So this is how our first vase is looking. And again, very similar to our inspiration piece. And I will put up a photo here. So absolutely love how this has turned out. And we'll finish up our final piece. And then this is how our second piece is looking. Absolutely, I'm in love with how this little project turned out. So again, here are our DIY bases, similar to our inspiration piece. And I'll put up the photo here. So for Lisa, again, thank you so much for the inspiration. I absolutely love how our DIY has turned out. So now let's style them up with some florals. All right, so I have these magnolia stems that I ordered from Etsy and they're similar to the ones from Z Gallery. Not the same ones that for Lisa had, but I saw these this year and I wanted to order them from Z Gallery, but they were a little pricey. 
And I actually talk about these in one of my upcoming videos, I believe it's my, you can see that. I believe it is my um, home decor haul that I did recently from all of our shopping trips. So we're just going to style up the vase using these stems. And as I said, I picked these up from Etsy and I will leave them linked in case you care to check them out and purchase them yourself. And I think they're absolutely pretty. And these were like $5.30, I believe. Whereas the ones from Z Gallery, you would get three for $30, I think. So instead of three, I got six, which I thought was a great deal. Now keep in mind, prices are subject to change on Etsy because they are independent sellers, you know, and they set their own prices. So, all right, so here is that base. And then here is our second one. All in all, I think these came out really, really nice and we used items that we already had on hand. So you don't always have to go out and buy new things. Use what you have. So this is how they look. Let's take a closer look. So here is how our vases have turned out and I am absolutely in love with the look and I hope you are as well. So if this portion of today's video has inspired you in your home decorating and you are as much in love with this simple DIY as I am, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. So I don't know how much those vases were that Felicia showed on her channel. I know they came from Home Goods, So probably maybe $20, $30 now, because Home Goods has gotten expensive. But we made ours for probably two for the price of one, including the florals. And you cannot beat that. And I absolutely love them. DIY and it's really not a DIY because I chose not to spray paint the vase. I could and I still may but I wanted to live with it first to see how it would look here in the space first and I love it. I think it mimics our high-end inspiration pieces that I showed you earlier from Restoration Hardware. Again, they use the oversized vase or vessel, as they like to call them. And I think we achieved the look. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I could throw some moss in here or leave it empty. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it empty. What do you think, moss or no moss? So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's inspiration 
videos on how to DIY some inexpensive home decor. You don't have to spend a lot of money, in my opinion, to get the looks. Look for less. Alright guys, so there you have it. Those are our three looks, look for less DIY dupes. Um, I said we were going to do four. We only ended up with three, but I absolutely love how everything turned out and I hope you do as well. So if you have enjoyed today's video and it has inspired you in your home decorating, then please give the video two thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I said, if you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you become a member of the I Style My Style family. If you have not yet done so, please hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming uploads. My next video is going to be a clean and decorate with me in my family room for fall. You don't want to miss it and if you have missed any of my past how to bring warmth into your home for fall videos, again the playlist will be linked down below so make sure you go check it out if you're looking for a little fall decorating inspiration on a budget. So leave me a comment down below which was your favorite DIY or upcycle. Not everything was a DIY. We didn't do a DIY on the bowl because I did like it exactly the way it was, even though it was thrifted. Gosh, I think was it $2.99, $3.99? I think we did a, a great deal and it really mimicked our restoration hardware piece, in my opinion, and I hope you agree. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next one.